Alright, so prior to, to starting the recording, I did a little bit of editing. So what I did was I cropped the image here. So you can see that it's further up to the navigation here. And what I like about this, you can see that it's, it's pointing towards uh, the contact with space. I think it's really cool, like empowering education and it is pointing towards the contact us. So you can see like contact us or whatever. And we have the text I brought it up a bit about um by five um uh, uh, percent I took off the fifty so it, it's uh centered in a sense and that was pretty much it. Now in this video what I want to look at is the about us page. So I don't think there is anything there. Uh yeah. Why well, I, I think I was playing around with it, but I don't think there should be anything. No, I didn't save it so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that because we shouldn't have anything there. Well, I was just messing around with it earlier. So that's about it. So we have nothing there. Alright, so for here, let me just start go ahead and I have one image. Uh I know on the mock-up here I had I have two. You can see on the about page I have two images. I honestly do not know what couldn't find a picture to put here. So whenever I find one, I'll just add it there and I'll show you the update. But I'm gonna put like a box here, uh div with border and stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do about that. For here, I'm gonna put a uh, map so you'll see that image is right here. The text and whatever. So let's head right into that now. I'm gonna open the browser here, uh, which we don't need. This is what I actually need. So on the about us view, if you can see here. Um, I have one div and uh, this div I'm going to put a container class here and I'm going to have a has text uh, center uh, do I really want to do this no, no I'm not going to do this I'm going to go ahead and just say div and in here I'm just going to say has text uh, centered and in here I'll have an h1 with a class i'm going to add a class and the reason why i'm going to add a class here is because i am going to I put an underline and i think this may be a might be a bottom uh uh class but i'm not sure but i'm just gonna have about us because the reason why i'm putting it here is because i want to get some underlining for this thing so let me look at the updates and you can see it it's a it's a ball in my head, I guess. You can see it, it's actually uh in all caps. I'm not sure if I actually want it in all caps. So I'll just change that. I don't want it in all caps. Uh we just put let me just leave it as H1 because I think that's the only H1 that will be on this page, anyways. I'm just gonna leave it as H1. This is perfectly fine for me. And uh in the styles era now. Uh, I don't have I don't have any script tag. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need any script tag. If I do, I'll just add that there. But I'm just gonna uh, put uh, what's this? I know uh, text decoration, and I'm gonna put a underline for the text decoration. And when I look at this now, we should see an underline for it. So what's there? We go. See, that's beautiful. It's just like like what we have in in the mock-up here that looks that looks a lot better to me so you can see in the mock-up we have uh, a bit of underline all right great so now here we're going to have uh, a column or some columns actually so i'm going to put a div here with a class of columns and in here we're going to have uh two columns or two column actually so i'm going to have two of these so let me just copy these and actually i'm going to need i'm going to want i want i want two of these so two sets of columns so this one here i am going to have a text this one i'm going to have an image uh this one is going to have an image as well and this one will have a uh, text right there and one thing that I want to do with all of these is uh, what I'll do is I'm going to wrap this 
I think I'm gonna wrap this in another div which is going to have the as text centered and when we check this out I want because that's because I want everything in here to be centered now don't want to just go right there and center them let's see if that are okay that looks looks amazing now let's go ahead and uh, uh for this what we can do is I'm just gonna add a div I, I don't know why but I like to separate everything just in case I need to to add whatever so like border and all of those colors and stuff like that so I'm gonna put some lorem there but that amount of text so I'll just leave that lorem and uh, the second one here which is going to be the image I'm going to add a div and uh, in the div here what will I do I'm gonna put a class called box I'm not sure if this is a Bulma class, so I'm actually going to check that to see if it's a Bulma class. So yes, it's actually a Bulma class. That wasn't really what, I'm not sure if that was what re I really wanted. And I actually want this to be left aligned. So I'm going to push this down. Uh, what is it? This? Uh, push down. I could just put put like a class called push down just so I can know what I'm looking at. So in here, I think this is this is push down, and uh, I'm just gonna put some margin from the top of around uh, twenty pixels or twenty percent from the top so that should look uh, a lot better here and uh, I want this to be left aligned so I'm gonna uh, tend to test this thing out so I'm just gonna say as a uh, text left and let's see how that looks great that's a, that's amazing but this thing the margin is not working so well uh, push down on the top 20 pixels, 20 percent. Let me put about 40 pixels and see if that looks any better or any different. That doesn't seem like anything is changing, so let's just leave that for now. For the image, I'm gonna plug the image, I'll just uh, look at style that after. So I'm just gonna put a div in here with uh with an image attribute here which is gonna come from the asset slash asset slash image two dot what is it wait wait and uh I'm just gonna say image two again and let's look at how this looks let's go that or not uh Great. So this is okay so far. In my opinion, this is it's okay so far. This is probably a little bit too far over on this side, but that's that's cool. I'm gonna take uh I'm gonna take the push down the paragraph. I'm trying to say P and for the for the paragraph tag, I'm just gonna push it down. Let's see if that works any better. Well, yeah, but it hasn't gone as far as I want it to be, so I'm just gonna put, put this as percentage and look at it now. All right, great, just not so far. So let's put it at 30%. And really, and truly, sometimes you just gotta play around with these, these things to actually get it to somewhere that you, you like, and the image. For the image, uh, I don't want it to be so close to, to the thing there, so I'm just gonna put it to be margin from the right, uh, probably around 20 or 10 percent from the right. So this should take off some of the right up here, push it to this side. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's happening, but. Oh, that's cool for now. Give that for now. Uh, 
uh, the next thing that we want to do is further down here where we want to, I don't know why this is so far, this is not so far. But for here, I am just going to leave this box. I'm not sure I may put, uh, let me see if I can grab a box or something, maybe. But for the text, let me just work on the text because that the box is not important. That, that should have been an image. I could just put, what I'll what I do is just put, uh, get rid of this. Or I could just put the image in there. So I could just put image, image, uh, no, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. I'm honestly just going to leave it. I'm gonna leave it like that. But I could put some height on it. So I could put, probably put, uh, just put use a box glass and uh, probably put some height on it. Could have put some inline uh, styling, but it's not really advisory to put inline styling. So I'm just gonna put a height of uh, uh, I'm gonna put around 20 pixels. That should be good. And a width of around same. Uh, so you're gonna have square or whatever. And uh, I don't know how that's gonna look like. I don't know if it's gonna make any changes. Doesn't seem like that's the case. But that's okay. We don't really have to worry about that now. Uh, for the for here. For here, I'll probably just put a unordered list with some allies and put like something like uh, address somewhere or I could put like lorem 3 that doesn't work okay. I could just put like somewhere address and uh, email uh, so that would be uh why did i put some phone somewhere and here i'll just add that user well actually i could just put long down here I'll just put phone and I'll just put like one two that and uh, that's about it I don't think we need anything else we desperately need anything else let's look at that and uh, here we go but it's not left the line so let me go ahead and put that to the left how did I do it up here uh, actually added to the div but so I had a div on the inside here so, so I keep the consistency so I'm just gonna say has text uh, left just for consistency and uh, right there and this is probably too far but this is where it actually needs Let's look about uh, fixing that. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I think what I'll do is I'll just copy this. So actually just copy this, and I wanna put a class in here, call margin, and down here I'm just gonna add uh, this here. So we'll have that down in our styles here. I'm just gonna put a margin, uh, just gonna grab that, that uh, class and style it i want to put some margin from the left and put that to be around 20 percent from the left and that should do the trick so this is just down and dirty styling to get the the thing to just look like what i want it to look like 
this is actually uh, good enough for me and I think that's it for the video for this video and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching